Hello, today's parable is the parable of the master and the servant. This comes from Luke chapter 17, verses 7 through 10. The talk, um, context of this is talking about uh, different uh, sins and faith and, and faith and our duty as Christians. This parable talks about the third part of that. <clears throat> And if Jesus is talking to his disciples and, and telling him, telling them what he expects of them. Starting in verse 7, um, talking about the, uh, it, imagining if you have a servant who, who is plowing or looking after your sheep, and if he comes in from the field, you, you won't say, come down and sit and eat with me necessarily. You'll say, you know, prepare my supper and get, get yourself ready and, and wait on me at, you know, for me to eat and drink, and then you can eat and drink. Um, Starting with verse 10, so you also, when you have done everything you were told to do, you should say, we are unworthy servants, we have only done our duty. So, this is interesting, because it, it's not, Jesus doesn't tell this story, like, dismissively, to to tell the disciples, you know, you were just slaves of me, or anything like that. But he wants the disciples to understand that they have been brought into the kingdom of God, out of the kindness, out of the grace, out of the mercy of God. We are unworthy of that. We are unworthy of those things in the first place. God owes us nothing and we owe him everything and that is the point of the parable it's not that we're slaves necessarily of god although in a sense we are definitely his servants right but we don't deserve god's grace we don't deserve any of these things we owe god everything and he owes us nothing but he gave us something and even when he didn't owe us anything in the first place and for that we should be eternally grateful and we should eternally um be dutiful in our actions